Hi, uh, my name is Jean-Paul Naum. Uh, I'm going to be running through a brief introduction for you of, a, uh, of the program you'll be looking at this year called Archicad. Um, we're looking at Archicad 16, which should be the same uh, program that you should have in front of you. And uh, in, in this tutorial, um, I basically just want to give you a rundown of, or a, or a brief introduction of Archicad, point out where things are and some of the things that it does. Um, basically, Archicad was developed from the ground up as a three-dimensional uh, program. It's probably about 25 years old, something like that. Um, and it's a multi-window program. That is, there's a lot of 3D programs that only show you one view of the building. And um, Archicad shows you many views of the building. So for example, um, I'll, I'll be showing you how to use some of these tools, but if I was to um, set up a simple wall for you, like this, um, what I'm going to do is look at it in a number of different views. So for example, um, I could um, have a look at it in plan view, like this, so we're looking down on top of the building. Um, I can generate a three-dimensional view of the same object that I just created. Um, I can also have a look at it in section. Uh, so it, uh, there's the wall there, it's generated in section. Um, and so we can create a building or an object and look at it from a number of different points of view. Um, as we change something in one view, so for example, I can uh, say take this wall over here and drag it sideways and drag it over here, it will update in all the views. So if I generate another 3D view, it's changed and I can maneuver my way around the building um, and I can jump to some of the other views and you'll find that it, they automatically all change. So it, it, it uh, illustrates a fundamental advantage of modeling buildings rather than drawing buildings. So what Archicad does, it creates a three-dimensional model of the building and as we change one aspect of the model, all the views of that building changes. Now that creates quite a uh, big advantage. We're not uh, regenerating uh, drawings from one view to the other as a lot of other programs do. Um, I also just want to run through some of the things that Archicad does. I've got some examples here for you. I suppose uh, one of the things we should uh, look at is where you as construction students are heading. Some of the things that uh, you should be considering over the next 10 years or so. Um, there's I suppose architecture is heading towards a particularly organic or complex form and so in your careers you're going to be, um, th these are some images from a recent exhibition of the UTS architecture students. Um, and I mean they explore quite uh, organic shapes um, where a couple of years ago these sorts of shapes were very, very difficult uh, to create. Um, and what you're going to be experiencing in your lifetime is some of the um, forms of construction that deal with these digital forms uh, and complex forms. Um, you'll be looking at forms of construction that allow us to create uh, buildings and objects directly from the digital model. I'm not sure if you keep up with some of the technology but um, you'll see that uh, if I just jump back and show you a couple of uh, examples over here. Uh, 3D printing technologies is uh, getting quite remarkable at the moment 
You may uh, have heard things like uh, motorbikes and all sorts of things we can print from plastic. Uh, quite strong objects, metal is, can be now printed. Um, and we're starting to look at uh, prototypes of building systems being constructed directly from the digital model. Um, these allow for quite complex shapes. So as people are thinking of uh, com complex buildings, people are coming up with uh, various uh, forms of con various systems of construction that allow these very complex, uh, very complex buildings to be built. So these are the sorts of things uh, that you are going to have to deal with in your career. The importance of uh, understanding digital models, how to manipulate digital models, um, understand how digital models work, uh, be able to read digital models because probably in your careers uh, the idea of a drawing may very well um, disappear that you'll be um, getting your information directly from the model rather than from what traditionally we have been doing for a long time now is reading information from drawings. So what I'd like to do is uh, just show you these things as a way of um, getting you to understand I guess some of the uh, some of the things that you're going to need to become familiar with in your careers as construction students, um, we're starting to look at the same digital model being used across a number of disciplines. Um, BIM modeling, uh, B-I-M, is an acronym used for building information modeling. That is. Um, a term used for the, a model that is used for a number of dis different disciplined areas. So you as a, as a builder might look at the model and use the model for certain aspects. The engineer will take uh, parts of the model and use those. And uh, a much more collaborative approach to construction and design is now being looked at with the model at the very center of all that, the model being used for all the different aspects um, of the work, including construction. And we can uh, use ARCHICAD for that. We can use ARCHICAD for a number of things. Is uh, same, uh, same program, um, which is the same program you all are looking at in front of you. You can generate digital uh, renderings and animations like this one. Uh, this is just a uh, small little steel frame building. Um, but exactly the same model that you would be looking at in terms of uh, construction, you'll be also looking at in terms of animation. And if I can uh, jump across and show you a couple of others, these are uh, jump through and show you some other renderings. Um, these are sketch design models. So exactly the same system. These are freehand ones, but from a freehand drawing we can very quickly jump across to um, ARCHICAD and start playing around with relatively simple models to help us analyze the design of the building help us analyze how it sits into its surroundings, how shadows and sunlight might shine through the building. Um, and the same model helps us do all those things. This particular one was down south of Sydney towards Stanmore Park and we're using um, Google Earth to help us see the sorts of views that we would be looking outside the window. A uh, relatively simple model, but very helpful in understanding the constraints of a design. Um, same program again. We can uh, look at, uh, say, much more finished off renderings. This is a um, photo montage 
but this has been created in Archicad. Uh, again, the same, exactly the same program you're looking at um, has the capability of doing this sort of thing, superimposed into a photograph of the surroundings. That was done in Photoshop. But these are all examples of what can be done from just within Archicad. All these uh, renderings. This is the same one you were looking at a little while ago. But um, so you can slice buildings open, have a look at them day or night, um, animated or still, and they're quite. So you have a whole range of different ways of rendering, um, experiencing the buildings for everybody involved in that has something to do with the model from the client through to the builder and through to um, consultants these are working drawings um, so they again the same model that generates the renderings are also generating these sorts of uh, construction drawings that we are probably more used to looking at in the building industry um, these other examples of the sort of thing we're talking about. Um, okay, in the next couple of tutorials, I'm going to look at um, where things are and help you understand how we can start building some of these images uh, for yourself.